107 degrees today and we're gonna go out and finish masking the boat so we can spray paint and hopefully we get it done before it gets too hot out um, right now it's dead flat the water is like like a mirror so hopefully the wind won't pick up and we can go ahead and spray it without getting the neighbor next door his blue hull his blue gel coat covered in white paint so <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Last week we painted, uh, we rolled on uh, Interlux Epoxy Prime Coat. This week we're going to spray Interlux Perfection Plus two part in Snow White. And that'll be all the glossy stuff between the water channels, uh, the bulwarks, the sides of the cabin house, and uh, all, the, the, all the stripes in between the foredeck. And then next week we'll roll on the platinum, which is the gray color, uh, and that gets non-skid, either mixed in or sprinkled. I think I'm inclined to go with sprinkled, but that means we have to overcoat it a second on the second day. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Sunday mornings, pretty early, 6.30, 7 o'clock, and we are going to spray um, the final coat of white today. Um, we were going to do it last weekend, and it was just way too windy, so we didn't get a chance to do it. Um, we did other things. Rich finally fixed the middle hatch, which was leaking, so that was nice. Um, there's that freaking spider. Um, we spent all day yesterday masking the boat. Started a little bit late because uh, the wind was kind of. I wanted to see what the wind was going to do. So it's a little breezy right now. It's going to just going to be breezy today, and it's supposed to kind of die down a little bit, like at 10 o'clock this morning, and then kick back up like at one. So that's kind of what we're hoping to to be spraying. Um, thankfully, our neighbors with a very nice blue hole next to us left yesterday. They went out to the San Joaquin River to celebrate uh, 4th of July, so that's nice. And then we had the boat next to them. They were here, um, but they left. And then there's a big power boat at the end of the dock, 
and they're leaving this morning. So we really shouldn't be bothering anybody with the fumes and the noise and all that. So that's nice. I know when we sprayed last time, it was like a full house around here and I felt really bad. I mean, it was really hot that day and people were miserable and then we had this funky, you know, solvent chemical spray everywhere. So, oh well. Everybody's been so nice though. Everybody's really, nobody cares that we're doing this and no one's complaining. So that's really nice. So yeah, we're gonna finish masking this morning. I'm doing the windows right now. And then um, we're gonna scuff the white paint with some like 400 grit sandpaper. Then we're gonna wipe it down with one of the solvents. I don't remember which one it is, but it's one of the solvents. You do a wipe down right before you spray. And then we're gonna spray after that. Um, we didn't really get a lot of good video last time on the GoPro because it was so hot and we were so miserable and we were just sweating and where I had set up the um, camera, Rich ended up bumping it and it fell and we were spraying and we didn't want to stop. So anyway, the camera situation was not good last when we did the first coat. Um, he also got for his com air compressor hose um, an adapter. It's like a 90 or a 180 even. I'm not sure um, because the end of the hose he just battled it the whole time, and so this time he has an adapter that should keep the hose out of the way. It kept getting into the paint, and oh, he was getting really frustrated. So hopefully today goes better than last time. Um, and hopefully the wind dies down too and hopefully we get more footage so we'll see um, how it goes well the last time we were uh, spraying a paint I was having trouble with the uh, hose and all this thing at the end it, uh, interfering with the gun getting close enough down I noticed when you stand inside and look out the port lights, you notice all the bulwarks around the boat look like I missed a lot of paint. So I put a couple of neck on the bottom of this El Cheapo spray gun here. And what that does is it puts the hose over my, over my shoulder here so that I can get closer to the deck when spraying. So We just finished wiping down everything with the solvent. I am mixing the paint. It's two to one white base. So you basically just dump part A into part B. And then I think we thin it 25%, so whatever that works out to be of the reducing solvent. And then we wait 20 minutes and um, I think it's just for like the bubbles to come out of the solvent. You have to let it sit for like 20 minutes. And then you pour it into the gun and you spray. Hey, did I mention how much I hate painting? <laughs> so it looks like this is the last weekend we'll be painting. Fingers gonna, crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. We're gonna uh, mask off the boat for all the non-skid around the decks, and then we're gonna paint gray paint tomorrow and sprinkle in uh, Intergrip non-skid powder, and then hopefully be able to roll over that. First thing this morning we have, we have to do is do a sand lightly with what grit are we using? Like 320 grit 320 for sanding, and then we're going to do the same as we did before. They're going to do the solvent wash, the solvent wipe down, and then we're going to roll. We're going to roll on the 
Perfection Plus in the gray platinum color and sprinkle on the non-skid little bead things and then after that dries then we put on a second coat of just the paint. So we calculated yesterday how much approximately how much square footage we have and how much square footage a quart is and we have two quarts and about a quarter and I think we are like two square feet under what we need so it's gonna be close um, anyway I hope we can get it done so because Rich called uh, West Marine to see if we could maybe pick up a third quart and the closest one that had the platinum perfection is in San Diego so that's not gonna happen it's gonna be hot today too it's like 103 yesterday. Today's supposed to be like 96. Much better. So we used two full quarts of uh, uh, Interlux Perfection Plus Platinum and had a little bit left, about a quarter of a quart of platinum from when we did the Sea Hood. Or no, actually that was from the top deck, the cabin top. Um, so we ended up doing three coats on the front. That third coat really helps. When and we did the first two coat. Along here. And sadly we didn't have enough paint to do three all the way around. And you can tell. Well the roof is the same way. But it's not it's not um, it's not that bad. But we rolled it on at ten percent and then sprinkled on all the powder. And the powder really dries up the paint really quick. We cleaned off all the powder dust and then the grit sticks in the paint and then we uh, rolled on a second coat thin to 10 percent uh, a couple hours later i mean it was pretty much dry to the touch within an hour we gave it about two hours and then the two fronts again for the yeah, third the front got three coats it would have been nice to go down the sides one more time so you happy with how it turned out i like it Happy enough. Happy enough. Uh -huh. That's all we can ask for. Yeah, birds are going to poop all over it, you know. We're probably going to drop winch handles on it and stuff like that. So I think it'll, it'll work. So the next thing we have to do is put all the hardware back on. We've got cleats, stanchion bases. We can re-rig the lifelines. Jenny gets scared walking down the side decks with no lifelines. Not um, now. Not that. Not, not now that it's grippy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So stay tuned for us putting the uh, 
the cleats and the stanchions back on. 